Hi everyone, so today I'm filming at home. I thought I would do a quick video, hopefully it's quick, of some of the products I took on holiday with me recently. I'd really thought about which products I was going to take and I tried some new things out, so I thought I'd just do a video talking about all of those. Now I haven't filmed at home for a long time and lots of you have been asking, can we have a TED talk again? So hopefully, obviously I can't promise anything, but I have left the door open. And I know that if he's in the mood, we will get a fashion talk. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. So onto the products. The first thing that I took was this ultraviolet SPF. This is a chemical sunscreen SPF 50 plus. This was recommended to me. It's an Australian brand. It was recommended to me by an Australian girl on my team who just come back from Australia and um, she spent all of the holidays there and she said, oh, you must try this brand, it's fantastic. All of their sunscreen, they just specialize in sunscreens and they're all really, really good. This was the particular one that she recommended to me and this is called Squ uh, Queen Screen. And it's more of a serum, so it's quite a moisturizing, silky serum. So it gives you more of a dewy finish, which if you're very oily, you might not like, but actually, um, I quite enjoyed it because not only did it give you that kind of dewy look, but also it goes really, really well underneath foundation. And I think it's because the silkiness comes from, it does have silicones in it. And I think the silkiness comes from that, but it means it really sits well with foundation. And on my holiday, I was using not much makeup. I was using my foundation, not every day. I mean, literally, 100% just being just vanity no other reason so in the morning I'd put this on or another sunscreen on and then I would just do a little bit of concealing really with my foundation just to feel good to go to breakfast see other people um, just feel nice so I'd put it sort of around my nose around my chin area and um, yeah just a little bit really down the center of my face just so I felt nice fancy for breakfast um, and then I'd curl my eyelashes put a little bit of lip gloss on or something not I was, didn't really use a lot of makeup but I did find that this was particularly good with my foundation because it really kind of glided on and it, it looked really nice it gave it more of a dewy finish so it definitely lends itself to I think if you want that kind of dewiness in your makeup um, but it has lots of other really good ingredients, so lots of antioxidants. It has something called katakudu pear extract, a plum extract it's called. Um, and I recognise that because there's a cleanser that I really like and I use that also contains that. So I knew it went well with my skin. And all in all, just a really nice, lightweight, silky serum that feels good on the skin gives you that extra dewiness and definitely sits really, really well underneath kind of classic foundation, liquid foundation formulas, which um, I think now that I'm back, you know, I will be wearing makeup every day. And I think I'm always looking for SPFs that work well with foundation and with other makeup because not all of them do. Um, so, so yeah, that's a good one. So next one is just an old classic and it didn't let me down again. I love this. Uh, family members who've got more sensitive skin really love this because it doesn't have any fragrance in and um, it's just a real a real classic I think I think I can always recommend it and because I was away for so long I got to basically use all of them and try them all out and um, this I can I can still say I love it it is a chemical sunscreen it has the triazines and triazones again oh I forgot to say they're also in the ultraviolet which was the first one that I mentioned and um, it's just a really good one for sensitive skin. It went really well under makeup. Um, so I was able to use foundation. There was no piling or peeling. It doesn't give you that really, really white kind of cast. And it is um, quite lightweight. So you don't feel like it's kind of a thick, horrible feeling. It feels quite lightweight and um, yeah, just really pleasant to use. and. A, a proven classic I'd say. Another brand that I took some products from were the Soleil Toujours. I've mentioned these products before. I think even in my last, um, the last time I did a video, I think I mentioned this one, which is the, actually this is more of a self-tan product, but I like their sprays because they are reef safe. I don't really use them all the time, but if we went swimming or we went on a particular snorkeling trip or something, then um, I did actually take 
this which is the factor 50 spray and i had a body one as well and i think it's just because 70 percent of the ingredients are organic and they're recommended as being reef safe and in fact when we were on we did some cave swimming some went swimming in cenotes we just never wore any anything at all because it's just obviously not great for the environment to get into those kind of environments covered in chemical sunscreens so we just would put long sleeve t-shirts on and just you know be in the water and then when we came out finished then put the sunscreen on so i think um you know in, in those circumstances just have to be kind of sensible about it and realize that it's not just about us, it is about kind of, you know, thinking a little bit more about the environment. So I definitely was doing that. And then with the um, the self tanner, this one was just, because I was trying not to tan my face too much, I would add a drop of this to my sunscreen or at night, actually, when I went to bed, I would just put a drop in like a moisturizer or something. And um, this is just so good because it's so natural. You literally put one or two drops in your evening skincare and you wake up with a slight glow. I wouldn't say you don't wake up like looking like you've used a self tanner. It's not orange, it's not kind of a strong color, but it just looks like your skin skin just looks healthy. And as time went on, um, by the end of it, I had kind of a good face tan, although it wasn't real. Um, it was a mixture between a bit of real and then probably 60% of this. So this is a product that I could, I can wholeheartedly recommend. It's just called the Daily Sunless Tanning Serum. So the last SPF I tried was this one by 35,000, which is a French kind of, sorry, American sort of luxury travel beauty brand. So everything comes in these really small um, containers. And um, I tried this one before I went away and I thought, God, that's such a lovely, primer more than anything it's a physical sunscreen so it's not a chemical sunscreen so it's based on zinc oxide and more minerals and it is um i didn't use it during the day but what i used it for was sometimes we went out early in the evening so it was still sunny almost the sun was going down so i didn't feel like i wanted to not put any spf on but i didn't feel like i needed the hardcore stuff and i would use this as a face primer so moisturizer slash primer and it just made my skin, it's almost got some sort of blurring technology in there because my skin looked really nice. And then my foundation went so nicely on top of it. So it was like a kind of evening moisturizer primer with a bit of SPF in. And um, I didn't notice, like we did photos and things as well at night. I didn't notice any particular flashback despite the fact that it's mineral. So um, it was just a really nice one. And I just love the feeling of it on the skin. It's got lots of, it's a skincare really product. So it was a very nice caring skincare product. So when I was putting together my toiletry bag, for want of a better word for this trip, I was trying to think a bit about not, at the end of three weeks, I didn't want to leave behind a load of plastic bottles. So usually when you go on holiday, you take, you know, your shampoo, your conditioner, shower gel, deodorant, things that probably by the end of three weeks are going to be empty and you're going to, you know, basically throw them away. Um, so I thought, well, if I can take maybe at least 50% of things which I'm not leaving behind anything which can't be very, very easily recycled or is 100% biodegradable. So one of the things that I chose, and this was in my Christmas gift guide actually, was the wild deodorant. This is a natural deodorant, but I find it to be really, really effective. You have the aluminium pack, but this is forever. So um, hopefully this will last me forever. Um, and inside you have refills. They all smell so good. All of the refills, I absolutely love the fragrances. It's a natural product and the actual refill. So while I was away, I went through one of these. The refill, when you take it out, is a completely compostable and biodegradable pack. So it's not a refill that's in a plastic thing. Sometimes I'm like, with these brands that go on about, oh, you know, it's refillable. I'm like, yeah, but the refills are plastic. So what was the point? Um, but this one isn't. So I kind of took a, a new one with me, put the new one in and threw the old one away, knowing that I wasn't just like chucking plastic left, right and center. In the spirit of that, I also took, instead of a usual toothpaste, basically, which at the end of the holiday, you chuck it in the bin, um, I tried these toothpaste tablets. So I know this sounds weird, but 
it's each little toothpaste, little tablet is, um, oh gosh, put that on so tight. <laughs> anyway, you can see the kind of tablets inside. And each of these little pills, you just pop into your mouth, kind of crunch, and then start cleaning your teeth. So it's got really nice ingredients, which dentists have approved. It's got also had vitamin B12, um, lots of minerals in, so quite good for sensitive teeth if you want to have your teeth remineralized. And it was just really, really pleasant to use. So by the end of the holiday, I practically, well, there's a few left, but had I used them all up, you can buy then a refill and you just refill. So this glass jar with an al aluminium cap, which in themselves are both completely recyclable, um, would not have, I wasn't leaving again, you know, tubes of plastic tubes of toothpaste behind with me. And I actually really enjoyed using them. So I think whenever I travel um, and going forward, I think this is a really, really good, good idea. The other thing I tried for a shampoo, and I've been using this since Christmas as well, since the beginning of the year. Um, and this is the Champure Nurturing Shampoo Bar. And this is just such a nice way of washing your hair. Initially, when I was like washing my hair with a bar of soap, I'm not really sure about it, but it's all natural ingredients. It doesn't contain the silicones that you often get in shampoo, and it doesn't contain the sulfate, so you're not kind of stripping your hair. So really nice if you've got dry hair or sensitive hair, um, and it's just so pleasant to use. You know, you get, it's not foaming like a regular, shampoo like old-fashioned shampoo but it is creamy so you feel that kind of it is really cleaning your hair smells delicious and this is a brand new one because at the end of the trip obviously i'd use this up so there was no bottle of shampoo to leave in the garbage there and the packaging itself is completely recyclable paper so that was one that not only did I enjoy using it, but I felt like I wasn't leaving behind a ton of bottles. So I decided on the holiday that I wouldn't use any styling heat at all because I think when I've been filming the documentary, I've been having my hair styled like constantly every day, um, doing the pop-up towards the end of the year last year. You know, I was getting my hair done for events and I felt come January that my hair was frazzled like seriously frazzled and i thought i'm not going to do anything other than look after it and it wasn't i didn't go on holiday you know i went on holiday obviously i want to look nice but i wasn't like trying to like dress up crazily or have my hair done or makeup every night so i just wanted a beauty break really um so i i chose a few hair products which i felt were going to be really nice for me to use one of them which I finished while I was there, so it's it's not here now, but it's this one, it's Mon Pure, and it is a brand which specializes, hmm, specializes in scalp health. So I thought it sounded really, really good, but also I think if you're in the sun and the heat all day long, it was a really nice kind of cooling scalp and hair mask that they made. And I just thought, well, that sounds like it's gonna be really good for my hair. It said it was going to help with the growth, with healing of the scalp, with the healing of the hair. So I actually used that most evening. So I just put it on my scalp kind of when I got back from wherever we were and then just massage it through the hair, give it like half an hour and then just rinse it out. And I really enjoyed using it. One last hair product to mention. It's a living proof one, plastic packaging, but this one came back with me. Um, and this lasts such a long time. Um, it's the Perfecting Restore Perfecting Spray. This is a heat protector and UV protection. So I really like using this um, if I'm gonna have my hair blow dried or I'm gonna try and use heat on it. Also, it just is so detangling. So on holiday, when we were swimming in the sea, I'd come home, I'd put mask on, rinse it out, use this, it would just be no, no knots whatsoever. So that's a really, a really nice one. So the next thing I took on holiday was this cleanser by Muihood or Muihood. Um, this is the Good Chi Cleansing Balm. And I was researching local London-based beauty brands because I thought it'd be interesting to see what's available like on my doorstep. Um, and this was a startup that I found and just a really nice, small, interesting company really good ingredients, very good cleanser, glass packaging, um, glass uh, pack rather, 
And then the balm itself, I really liked it because it's full of natural oils and good skincare ingredients. But also I like the texture of the balm because sometimes when you're on holiday, you're wearing so much SPF. And then I was wearing makeup as well and, and, and what have you. And this balm, it has almost, um, it's not exfoliating, it's not got beads or anything like that in, but it's, or, or, or gritty bits, but it's something about the way it's put together that it just has that feeling of something just a very gentle buff to the skin. So I felt like I was really, not just dissolving all that SPF and all that makeup, but just really, really cleaning my skin. So, and I knew I'd use this up while I was away, so I, I just left this, um, pot which can be recycled there um, so I was using it actually in the morning as well she don't normally use bombs in the morning but I quite enjoy the feeling of it very sort of nurturing and um, hydrating in fact and then I would use it twice at the end of the day just to get rid of all of the SPF and then I would use it once before bed because as I say put more makeup on in the evening. Another product I really loved on holiday was this Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. This can be used as a regular mask or overnight as a treatment or a night cream, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and it was just the ingredients sold me. Firstly, <clears throat> I like the idea of calming, um, redness reducing. I didn't know if I was gonna like, how much sun I was gonna get. And um, it just feels so nice, it's really, kind of softens the texture of your skin. It has squalene, it has um, oh, so many different really good skincare ingredients. Uh, glycerin is one of the main ingredients. So mm, it's an old favorite, but it's a classic, but it's still amazing. And then you can just either put on a small, this is the one I took on holiday. So I used about half of it and I used it regularly. Didn't need much. Um, massage a small amount in and then either, sometimes I put a thick, thick layer on, left it for like 30 minutes, then tissued some off and then just left it as a night cream. Uh, sometimes I just put a thin layer on and then just went to bed. Um, so I used it a lot while I was on holiday as a kind of night cream really. Last but not least, and this is really because the video that I did of my um, Bigger Brighter Eyes, which is a tutorial I did recently, everyone was asking me why are your eyebrows so thick and lush and you don't need to pencil them. Um, so I thought, well, I better spill the beans. Anyone who's watched my videos before knows that I'm really into brow serums and lash serums, um, but I've had a very checkered history with them in that I never ever use them regularly or properly. And then when I have done that, I've always had amazing results, to be honest. Um, I used to use new lash and new brow um, and actually new hair I tried, which is a, something that they did. That's not available in the UK, um, but that always worked really well for me. And so I was about to go on holiday and I was thinking, I've got to get back on the lashes, you know, I've got to get back on the brows. Anyway, during my pop-up, one of the customers that came in had amazing eyelashes. So I chased around the shop and said, tell me about your eyelashes. And she's like, oh, I use this eyelash serum. And she said it's um, Revitalash and it's called Adva Revitalash Advanced. Anyway, she insisted on buying me some, which was crazy because you can get this one in the UK. So I was like, no, you don't need to. Anyway, like two days later, they rang me from the pop-up and said, oh, she's been back and she's bought you the, the stuff. So it was just such a lovely present. So I started using this in December every single night. I've missed two nights since December, which is like epic. One night was last night, and one night was the night before I used did the last video, I don't know why, apart from when I'm filming. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is what I've been using, and it's, it's made my eyelashes a lot longer. For the brows, I thought, well, I've got to also do the brows. Um, I didn't want to, I knew the new brow was really good, but I just wanted to go into my local boots, my local drugstore and buy it. So I tried this one, Rapid Brow, and this is just because of convenience, really. So I thought, well, I hope it works. This has been phenomenal. <laughs> my, I, I don't need to pencil my eyebrows anymore. I don't know if you can see my, in the, even in this video, but um, they, they're so thick now, particularly at the front, they were getting a little bit thin. Um, and I don't know what to say, it's just, they've worked so well. So I just 
wanted to add that quickly onto the end of this tutorial. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Um, bit of a casual one. We didn't get a TED talk. I am so upset. I mean, what? Oh, sorry. He just walked in. So hopefully we are going to get a talk. Um, if we do, I'll add it to the end of this. But in the meantime, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope it was interesting. Do let me know if there are any SPF products that you love because summer is coming and I love to hear about brands or small brands that I haven't heard of before. I mean, that one, that Australian one, for example, it wasn't for my Australian friend. I probably wouldn't have known about that. So, so please do let me know in the comments or any other summer products or brands or hair care things to share with all of us actually because I guess we all love to read about new things. Okay, so Ted is in my drawers now. I think he is going to be doing a talk. What's he got? I can't wait to see what he's got. So that was a brilliant talk. He was brilliant as usual, weren't you, Ted? Can't believe we got a TED talk.